Yo, what's up guys? This is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this amazing looking particle logo reveal effect in After Effects and we don't need any plugins, it's super simple, super beginner friendly and will just take a few minutes. So yeah, let's do this. So let's create a new composition and first of all, of course, we need our logo. I'll just use the Twitter logo for example and then just hit S on the keyboard and just scale it down to whatever size you prefer. I'll just do something like this. And then it's super important to press right click on the logo or on the layer and make sure to pre-compose this just like this. And more importantly, you have to select the lower setting. So maybe this one will be selected by default, but we need this one exactly like this. And then just Press OK of course and now we can add the most important and only effect for this tutorial which is the CC scatterize effect under simulation and just apply it on this one and now let's first animate this twist that you saw so let's just go to somewhere where you want the animation to be finished so the logo to be fully revealed like something like Two seconds maybe and press the keyframe at right twist and then just go to the beginning and just twist it a bit I'll just yeah, like to use something like 1 and 90 degrees like this and now we can see yeah that it does this cool movement but let's make it a bit smoother real quick before we add the particle effect so let's open this up open up scatterize and click on the right twist settings and also open the graph editor with this button and select it again and just press this easy ease button down here so it will be a bit smoother so we'll just go slow at the end and slow at the beginning and fast in the middle like this and you can also maybe even bring this a bit backwards like this so it will be really slow at the beginning just like this and yeah this looks good but of course we can't see any particles and we have to change that of course so let's actually go to the yeah to the end again and place a keyframe at the scatter effect and it should be zero so at the end of course we should have zero particles and then just go to the beginning and just bring this up to something like i like to use 50 but of course this is up to you and yeah now we have this cool effect and that's almost it but of course this looks a bit unsmooth right now so it will just go from particles to yeah fully fully done which doesn't look really good so let's select this pre-composition and press ctrl d to duplicate this thing and on this composition let's remove the scatter so just put it remove the keyframe and put it to zero just like this so we have a layer with just the yeah the logo without any particles basically and let's see where the animation goes let's check the keyframes and okay let's press t on the keyboard to reveal the opacity effect settings and make sure it is um yeah 100 at the end and then go, so it will be fully there at the end, and then just go forward a bit, or backwards actually, and change it to zero. And what this, this does, it just blends in the, the effect more smoothly, so we can see yeah, the full logo before all particles are 100% together. And yeah, we, will, we can see this looks way smoother, then let's activate this for a second. Uh, deactivate this and then if we de deactivate this as you can see it will be more abrupt but yeah this looks good and of course if we want we can make a nice fade in so let's go to our lower layer again where, which we can see the whole time and let's again make some opacity effect settings so press T on the keyboard again and go just somewhere a little bit at the start make a keyframe at 100 go back and put in zero so it will just appear and yeah that's already it. I think this looks really cool 
and it can be used in many projects. It's super simple and yeah, have fun with it. See you next time.